Social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter are certainly all the rage, but are there hidden dangers you should be on the lookout for? Hmm. Kurt Romers, Chief Security Strategist with Citrix Systems, joins us now live to discuss what we should all be watching out for. Kurt, nice to see you. Thank you. Same here. Thanks, Melissa. So great opportunity for people to connect and reconnect, but you say this could be an IT nightmare. It really can. Uh, when you take a look at those social networking sites, there's a lot of implicit trust that forces people to do things in many cases that they wouldn't do in other situations. You know, you've learned for the last few years not to click on links that you receive in email, but if you get a link from a friend on a social networking site inviting you to view a video, you don't think twice, right? Yeah, view a video, take a quiz. It seems that everybody's doing it more and more. So you say that's what's problematic because you don't know what could be therefore infecting our computers. Very true. Um, oftentimes, just by clicking on the video or taking a look at pictures or even uh, looking at a PDF file with some of the recent exploits, you can go through and have your computer be compromised. And with the links to all your other friends, you can have them be compromised as well. So you can not only compromise your own system, your identity, giving up your passwords, you can also automatically send links to your friends that do the same to them. Is there so any it, uh, it really allows these viruses to propagate. Is there any way you you can just look at somebody with an untrained eye could just look at a, a photograph, a quiz, a video clip and know whether or not it could be dangerous? Uh, no, that's very hmm. tough because uh, these attacks are very stealthy and um, oftentimes if they're combined with a particular vulnerability in a browser, in your video player, in uh, the PDF viewer in the case of something recent, uh, they can automatically apply their damage and um, cause issues with the system. So the attacks um, you don't are even have to do anything. Yeah, the attacks are stealth like what do you mean you have don't have to do anything? Well, because of the way that uh, computers oftentimes give you previews of files, they'll give you thumbnails of pictures, mm -hmm. they'll give you interesting information as you mouse over them, there's something running in the background. There's a script, there's some program that allows it to do that. And if there's an exploit in the underlying software that displays that picture or video, that exploit can be realized as soon as you mouse over or even view the, uh, the particular image. Okay, so you've presented all the problems. What are the solutions? What can we do to still engage in social networking and yet keep our computers safe? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's a little tough because, you know, this is still moving forward. But if you do um, get a link that you don't recognize, don't click on it. I and mean, it's basically think before you click. If something doesn't look right, it's probably not. And now, if you're not sure about a video, ask a friend whether they sent it. Now, you don't actually um, have a Facebook page. I understand members of your family do have them. Why don't you? Is it because of this correct. issue? No, it's not. I'm on uh, LinkedIn and some other professional sites. Uh, Facebook is very interesting. It's really replaced email in a lot of ways for people, and I see how my family uses it. But uh, I'm still very much connected through email and uh, through other venues. Uh, Facebook is a great utility, though, and I, I do see a lot of people utilizing it. So yes or no, are these social networking sites like Facebook and MySpace safe for people to use right now? I would say they're mostly safe. Okay. Uh, there are very few problems. Even though you can have malware distributed through the sites, you can have malware distributed through the web and email and in many other areas. So they're not being singled out. It's just that the trust within these social networking sites can tend to amplify the problem and, as I had stated before, make people do things they normally wouldn't. And uh, you, you really have to be a little more diligent and not click on links you don't recognize. If they invite you to download software, don't don't, don't download software or update anything from untrusted sources. Always go back to the source and get the updates directly from Microsoft or McAfee or Symantec or whoever uh, provides those particular programs for your computer, uh, your operating system, and your antivirus. Be very cautious and be diligent. Thanks so much, Kurt Romer, a chief security strategist Absolutely. with Citrix, boy, is that hard to say, Citrix Systems. Thanks, Kurt.